If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be week two of my one week, one shelf challenge for February. Basically every week I pick in my cute little cat jar a shelf which represent a genre on my bookshelves and it's the one I have to stick to for the week. Uh, last week I ended the vlog choosing shelf two which is fantasy and I had to pick this one, but turns out it is the shelf it was on. The book club book pick of the month for Patreon, it is The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, which is an adult fantasy, which I have heard great things about the author, but it was my first time picking anything by him. It is going to be my first pick by him, and I'm excited. I have been warned that it's more um, character driven than like a lot of really popular fantasy uh, books, but I'm all for it. Last month I did read a pretty slow paced one, so I'm prepared. So that's gonna be my first read. Uh, as far as audiobooks, I wanted to try and get one from that shelf, which... This is shelf two. One, two. Um, this was the book I was talking about. There you go. So yes, book two after The Magician. This is The Magician King by Lev Grossman. Uh, unfortunately, right now I don't have access to it. Um, I'm going to be choosing something else, which I'll mention in a second. The only thing is... I did put my name on a waiting list and I might be able to get it this week. The only thing is I fear it might be too similar to the other fantasy book. I'm trying usually to not read the same genre audiobook at the same time as like the one I'm reading physically because I don't want to mix stories and I don't know how close they are to each other. Maybe they're not remotely close, but just, you know, mentioning it. Uh, as far as the one I'm currently today starting, I did start it a little bit this morning, getting ready. Uh, the Ones in Future Witches by Alex E. Hero, which is about witches. It's a fantasy, it's popular. It was one of the nominees for the, um, I believe, fantasy uh, section for the Goodreads Choice Award of this year. So I wanted to read it anyway this year and it was ready, you know, my waiting list, it was telling me I could choose it. So now I have access to it. And yeah, I don't know anything other than it's witches and fantasy and that's all. So far, I don't have anything to say because I'm like 1% into it, 2%. Uh, so. We'll see how that goes uh, throughout the week. But yes, these are the books that I'm picking up this week. Wish me luck. Hopefully I can get some uh, cute squirrel footage. I feel like one week I see them a lot and then one week I don't see them at all. So we'll see. I wanted to show you the progress for today for my audiobook. I'm at 8% and I've been doing the puzzle. That's all I managed to do because um, I'm not choosing easy puzzles. They're like a thousand pieces and like, but I did this part too. That I was pretty impressed with. So um, that's where I'm at. Everything looks like literally exactly the same. I think all of these pieces are like this because of the texture, you know? But yeah, um, not much progress. I only read about 50 pages of the physical book, so I'll update you in a day or two. Okay, so we overdue for an update. We are Thursday evening right after work. I um, wanted to update you on my progress because not a lot. Uh, I only yesterday ended uh, part one so I'm at page 208. Um, I'm very, very late, but that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing today. Quite honestly, I have not been feeling great, so this vlog is not going to be super excited, exciting because I'm doing nothing. I've, I've been like... Um, so yeah, let's update on the book. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, it is character driven, but the characters are super interesting and um, I like the writing, it flows nicely, and I like that the writing is different for each narration. Like, every character feels completely different, and I can really appreciate that. Um, I really especially like Glockta, whatever, uh, is inner monologue. Great, so funny. Um, all the characters seem to be... My phone stopped recording. Um, Every character seems uh, kind of morally gray, and I really like that. It makes them really interesting, they're complex, and I'm really curious to see where the story is going to go. Uh, I'm excited for more magic, possibly, uh, because Logan um, seems to be speaking to spirits, and I'm like, I just want more magic. Like, I, I want more magic. So, so far, so good. I'll update you for that one uh, a little bit later. Like I said, I do need to try and read like, like 100 pages at least a day to get it done on time. Uh, now let's talk about the audiobook because I did just get access to the audiobook of this one but um, I think I'm gonna stick to the other one because I don't really feel like trying to finish a whole book audiobook in like three days. It's just not reasonable. I still want to continue this series but I don't think this challenge is 
right for it. Um, as far as my Artie book, the Once Witches, um, <laughs> I'm kind of feeling so so about it. Like the reviews are so positive, but I'm only like 20 something percent into it, which not great. Um, I mean, again, I haven't been feeling well, so I haven't done uh, some of the things that I usually do while listening to audiobooks, like, you know, putting on makeup and stuff, and, like, even cleaning and doing your dishes. I'm so overdue. Um, so, didn't help, but I'm not really feeling it. It seems a bit whimsical. Like, I love witches. Like, I'm always saying, oh, if you have any recommendations. But it gives me vibes of kind of practical magic but less, I'm less into it. Does that make sense? It just feels very like this, and I don't know if it's the audiobook, because it's during the time I think of uh, Surajet, which should be an interesting time with witches, but like, I'm feeling a bit, uh, I would be very curious to hear your reviews. I'm gonna still attempt to finish it. I haven't done any more puzzles, actually, since um, Sunday night. Woo. So maybe tomorrow, if I make some great progress with the physical book, I will uh, do that so I can potentially <laughs> finish the book. But yeah, I think I should focus on the book that I'm really enjoying instead of like torturing myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll update you before Sunday, hopefully. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I haven't seen any squirrels. Or cats. Actually, that's not true. I saw the black cat, the cat number one, uh, walking on the street, but um, I couldn't really record because it's the front of my place. So, yeah. And, like, I tried, but, like, you can just see the screen <laughs> on my window. So, yeah. I will attempt to put, like, peanuts outside to try and attract the squirrels, but we'll see. Hello. Uh, it is Sunday afternoon, and um, I need to update you. Um... I feel the need to apologize for this really boring vlog, but I'm feeling so bad, like legit. Tried to get ready this morning to like maybe reorganize my shelf and make this more exciting, but I'm feeling so terrible. Like I'm in, st I'm in stomach pain. Wow, I'm in stomach pain in bed. Um, so yeah, the good news is I made some great progress on the book. Um, I'm at page, my phone keeps stopping recording. I don't know why. I'm at page 444, well, 45. And um, I'm really enjoying it. The beginning was a little slower pace, but it really picked up. Um, I'm getting to a point where I love the three main characters. I really don't care for the friends of Logan. Don't care at all. Don't really care for the woman either so far. Um, the scene, though, I I'm going to keep this vague, but there's a scene in a tower which gave me vibes of... You know how I mentioned I was having access to this one, but I'm not reading it? But the first book... Again, keeping it vague for spoiler-free, but there's a scene in the first book where they go somewhere. Um, the weird vibes of it kind of gave me the same vibes with this one in the tower. A little bit like Lord of the Ring E, but I feel like this one felt better than the other one. Like weird magic stuff. <laughs> if you've read the books, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so far I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm curious to see how it's going to end. And uh, yeah, I will absolutely continue the series at this point. I know a few of you on Patreon were telling me that you uh, DNF the book, which obviously to each their own, but I'm enjoying this one so much more than uh, the pick that we had last month. So super happy. I felt like a lot of like really popular fantasy books, adult ones, I tend to not care for them. I find so many issues that I feel like nobody's mentioning, but this one isn't like that, which to me feels refreshing and if like about time you know what I mean because I've been meaning to try and read more of the really popular fantasy books and I feel like more often than not I'm kind of underwhelmed but uh pleasantly surprised but uh, it will depend on the ending <laughs> so I will update you tonight uh, to let you know how it ends as far as the audiobook oh my gosh the audiobook um I think about 36 percent um, I haven't done my puzzle because that requires me sitting down at the table and I've been in bed. I don't know. I still want to try and finish it. I still have it for like 12 days or something because you get it for 21 days at the library and I had it a little bit in vents to have it in time. I don't know. I think I will... Oh no, I have next week to do too. Damn it. Oh, actually I should go and pick the next book, the next challenge. See, let's do that now. That way I don't feel like I've done nothing in the vlog. It's like, let's do the one exciting thing <laughs> that I will do in this whole vlog right now. Okay, so let's pick 
next week for each other. I'm kind of nervous. Like, what if I don't like it? Like, what if it's boring or bad or... Okay. It won't be, right? I'm like... It's <sighs> the problem of using post-its. They're like stuck together. <laughs> Is it 10 right? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that she's wearing this and it's like bringing me so much joy, honestly. Um, number 10, rainbow. So six for the first bookshelf and then one, two, three, four. Which, duh, Emily, because if you don't know, my rainbow shelves, the first one is all books that I have read and the other one are books that I haven't read. So, um, looks like this is going to be what I need to read this month, this week. And not all of it. Let's pick something. Okay, so these are my options right here. I'm gonna try to see if I can find an audiobook for one of them. And then I need to pick at least one physical book. Oh, I did mention I wanted to read some romance. Fudge. Um, like, I really want to read some Matt Egg, but I think I'm going to keep that for a different challenge. Wink, wink. Um, and I have been claiming that I want to read this book for months. And I have been warned that, you know, stuff happens in it. In it, But, I mean, it is Valentine's Day um, tomorrow. So that week is going to be, you know, perfect for romance. So maybe I should do that and then watch the TV show, whether I like it or not, just to, you know, if I finish it or not. I mean, so that could be a good contestant. I still really want to read you soon. Very, very soon. Keep an eye out. Um, what else? Maybe something short? What about this one? That's not a bad idea, actually. That could mean, like, two physical books in one week. That could be nice, especially if I don't like it. Actually, if I don't like it, I'll just, you know, come back and pick something else, really. I do have a few more romance books here, but... I'm tempted about that one, but I'm still kind of resentful about that movie. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, still a few more, but I think because Valentine's Day, that's like, I have to, right? So it looks like uh, next week we know what shelf and possibly what book. I usually I keep that for the other vlog, but it doesn't matter. Um, romance is going to be my pick. Well, rainbow shelf, but romance is going to be my pick. So we are finally Sunday morning. I finished a book just in time last night and I loved it. Um, the ending wasn't like a big ending. There's like, obviously you can see where it's gonna go, but it's not like a cliffhanger or anything that is a big reveal, which I believe someone, someone, some of you <laughs> told me that a little bit like Lord of the Rings, uh, it's more like one book separated in three books. So that would explain that ending. Um, if it weren't for this challenge, I think I would pick up book two, like either now or like soon. So that's a good sign overall. I think I'm going to give it 4.5, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna run it up to maybe a five. I really enjoyed it. I feel like it's been a while since I've read a fantasy, adult fantasy book that I've enjoyed this much that was like, Kind of a classic one but it felt super different because of the characters so i truly enjoyed it um as far as my audiobook at this point i yeah i don't know if i should dnf it or not um but i don't feel like it's for me i might finish it but you know so that's gonna be it for uh this vlog i did okay i guess uh thumbs up subscribe i will be putting more videos on the screen and i'll see you a little bit later today because I'm starting the next one. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day too.